Next stop, Blue Spring State Park, home to hundreds of manatees. The big day! This is like a big moment for us. This is one of the nicest free campsites ever. And it's in Florida. We are at a pick your own citrus place. Found twins. <laughs> oh, the time has finally come. We are getting a COVID test. If you're new here, we're Howard and Caitlin Newsdate. Dog people, food people, adventure people. We've been road tripping in our Winnebago Navion for over two years, visiting places like Alaska, Mexico, and just about everywhere in between. Our passion is sharing the amazing. You've done it. Wonderful and sometimes challenging parts of our life on the road with you. I'm reasonably sure it's a bear. Taking you off the beaten path, meeting incredible people, and trying new things. So bumpy. Each week, we bring you along with us to experience all the amazing places our little home on wheels takes us. Next stop, Blue Spring State Park, which is kind of like near Orlando, almost to Daytona, and it's home to hundreds of manatees. This is my manatee face. I'm so excited! All set up in our spot. Oh, oh <laughs> scout. That's what I get for holding the GoPro and I scout. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go check out the spring. They say that the best time is first thing in the morning, so we're gonna go back down tomorrow morning to check it out. But today we're gonna try and see what we see. Yeah, it's just like a little uh, pre scouting out trip with scout. <laughs> All right, scout, lead the okay. way. Scout, let's scout. Come on, girl. It is really cool that they have a trail directly from the campground down to the spring. Like a secret access. Most of the year, Blue Spring State Park is the ultimate spot for water activities like swimming, snorkeling, and kayaking thanks to its crystal clear waters. But from mid-November through the end of March, the spring's 72 degree waters are a safe haven for hundreds of manatees. The spring is closed to water activities to protect the gentle giants, but there are plenty of observation decks to try and catch a glimpse. Oh, the manatee, the movie. Yeah, there's the manatee. Winter is also a great time for seeing other wildlife. Just walking along the banks of the river, you'll see hundreds of birds. The amount of fish that are present is incredible. I don't know if you can see down there, but just look at that. Amazing. It's like a hundred of them. Yeah. Some of them look like they're almost like frozen in place. Plus Scout's favorite, the not so uncommon or elusive Eastern Gray Squirrel. Oh yeah, they're staring at each other. Her little heart is beating so fast. That's coral. Where'd he go Okay, I think this is the way to the uh, auditions to be the next edge for you two, right? I don't have a Fu Manchu, but I mean, I'm pretty close. <laughs> Good morning. We are on our way to the Manatee Lookout again, because according to the Rangers, best time to go is first thing in the morning. And so we're gonna try and beat the crowds and hopefully see some manatees. Total manatee count, zero. We did see four yesterday, like off in the distance on the riverbank. Yeah, but, but none this morning. And this is supposed to be like prime time. But I'm a little confused because when we were here yesterday in the evening, it was like five o'clock. And the way that the sun was hitting the water, it was crystal clear, you could see everything. Right now, the sun isn't high enough to illuminate the water. And so it's all like dark. That's true. So it'd be harder to see them right now. Yeah. We do want to give you a hot manatee tip though. There's an excellent viewing spot near Tampa. Oh yeah, yeah, the uh, Tampa Electric Company. So there's a power plant and I guess the water that is ejected from the power plant is like a warm stream of water. And so the manatees come to where this exit is from the power plant. And um, the electric company recognized that this was such a cool place <laughs> to see manatees. They built this whole structure and there's like a visitor center and all that and it's completely free. And you can see tons of manatees. Status update, we saw four. <laughs> there was two babies and mm -hmm. mama. It was really cool. Still kind of hard to see compared to last night. Yeah. We were here. 
Wow, well, that was a very peaceful and great way to end our time. So much more Florida to explore. Tampa, here we come. You checking it out? Where are we, Scout? Is this home for the next 10 days? Here at the Lazy Days RV Park, there is an RV themed restaurant and it is so much fun. Like the booths are like dinettes on the slide and it's themed like the bar area has an awning that comes out. It's just really cool. <laughs> I wonder if the windows work. <laughs> They do, that is so cool. <laughs> Time has finally come. We are getting a COVID test. Caitlin, how do you feel about that? I just feel a little nervous. Not because I think I have it, but just because, I don't know. Just the whole idea of it makes me nervous. We're, we're getting a COVID test because um, we're working with Winnebago on a bunch of projects uh, down here in Tampa. And we just wanted to feel more confident as far as that we weren't hopefully uh, potentially exposing somebody else to COVID. So we're gonna get a COVID test. Yeah, just out of an abundance of caution. I think it's the responsible thing to do. It is. So let's go do it. So we're heading to CBS and we're doing the immediate like rapid testing, which is a little different. I don't think this is the new swap. I, I don't think so. We don't um, know. We know it's rapid. Yes, it's rapid. Um, but CBS instructs us to pull up to a designated parking space and wait there for somebody to come tell us what to do. Because it's a whole learning process for both of us. I could sing that song from Aladdin, but then I'm afraid that our channel will get shut down. <laughs> About a whole new world or something like that. Oh, I thought you meant from your bad singing. <laughs> Howard can Sick actually sing. Bird. Howard can sing really well. I cannot. <laughs> Here I go. Good luck. Okay. You get to go in now. That was really easy. Yeah? It was super easy. Um, you don't stick it like way back in your head or whatever. So you Q-tip up your nose, uh, you swish it three times, put it in the other one, swish it three times in your nostril, and then you put it back in the other one, you hold it for 15 seconds, and you take it out, and now you're done. Okay. Yep. So she knows I'm coming next? Yeah, she said go on in there. All right, bye. Wish me luck. You can do it. Well, first things first, hand sanitizer. Okay, that was so easy. She's gonna call us in about 20 minutes with the results. It's very fast. 20 minutes? Yeah, that's what she said. I know, but that's a long time. I gotta sit in a car with you for 20 minutes. <laughs> oh. I'm, sorry. I'm not used to being in close, you know, <laughs> confines with Caitlin. There's a McDonald's over there. I guess we're probably not allowed to leave, though. I don't think so. I think we, I think we're under pseudo quarantine for 20 minutes. Guess what, you guys? We got an A plus. We passed our tests. No COVID. Negative. Yay! Oh, we did it. Okay, let's eat. It's a big day. Oh my gosh. We're about to see the brand new Winnebago journey for the first time. Oh, I'm excited. It looks so beautiful inside. Yeah, this is like a big moment for us because this is kicking off our partnership with Winnebago and we can't wait. Yeah, we're so excited to go meet the team. I've been emailing with them for almost a year now. I was gonna say, it felt, yeah, it's a year. It's a wow. year since this first got started. So it'll be really nice to actually meet in person. Yep. Yay, all right, ready? Let's do it. We have a very long walk to the chute, all the way about 100 feet across the RV park where I see them over there. There still is space up here. Oh man, this has been an awesome week. A great week for us. We have finished five days of filming every day with Winnebago down here in Tampa. And it's been awesome. I mean, we've done the journey video was really fantastic. If you have not seen that yet, check it out over on Winnebago's YouTube page. We'll put a link below. That thing is just 
so top of the line and luxurious and beautiful. Yeah. <sighs> And then we went the complete opposite direction, I guess, and said uh, off-roading. So we did the Echo, mm -hmm. uh, so we did an Echo tour. Uh, and then we did, um, oh, the updated view. The yeah. view Navion, the 2021. Yeah, that's real nice. Yeah. Real nice. I mean, we love our home and the floor plan and everything. And seeing the new upgraded version of it was really cool. Yeah. Maybe. And so we're going to celebrate and we're going to do that by giving the dogs a bath. <laughs> Piper Ella and Scout have been so patient this week. We obviously haven't been home as much as we normally are. So we just took them to the dog park that's here at the RV park. And now you're going to get a bath. I know. And don't judge us either, but we wash them in our shower. <laughs> We have like this little drain and it catches all the dog fur and here at the uh, RV park we're at we have full hookups right now so using the amount of water doesn't matter either. They just fit right in here. Come on honey. I know. Yeah, see? Oh boy. Although <laughs> this will be the first time that we wash Scout in here. Better. Rub it up, dub. Got a puggle in a tub. Oh, here she is. To present to you, baby number one. All fresh and clean. <laughs> Just mortified. <laughs> totally traumatized. Honey, you smell so much better. I know, Scout. You're gonna oh boy. be up next. <laughs> She's like, what did you do to my sister? I know. Ella. It's okay, Elbel. That was easy. <laughs> okay, she's definitely our most challenging pup to wash. She just hates it so much. Oh, I know. Yeah. She was shaking, but honey, you're gonna be so fresh and clean. So when we found her, her fur was like, obviously kind of gray and dingy because she had never had a bath and it was super wiry and now she's so soft and white yeah want to get her a treat oh yeah all right Ooh. there you there go, you go. Good yeah girl. good job yeah good girl all right, we're packing up. We've been spoiled for the last nine days here in an RV park with full hookups. So that means long showers and running whatever we want. But I am excited because we're getting back to boondocking today. And we're going to our favorite free camping spot here in Florida. We talked about it recently in our five free campsites for any size RV, Cypress Creek. So I'm excited to head back there today. Look at him. It's one of the many things I love about Howard. He just jumps in to help anytime anybody needs it. Look outside and he's holding a tree back for the guy trying to park next to us. He will help anybody anywhere. In the words of our nephew, it's a big one. Goodbye, lazy days. There's this big parking area right across the street. So we unhooked the CRV there. And it's nice because they keep the gate locked and they actually email you a gate code. So we're gonna go put that in and then kind of scout out where we wanna set up camp. Yeah. <laughs> On a scale of one to panting, I would say they are very excited to go out. Going for a walk. Mm -hmm. All right, you ready? All right, Scout, lead the way. This is one of the nicest free campsites ever. And it's in Florida. 
there's all kinds of hiking trails and stuff too. And you can't actually drive back in here unless you're camping. Vehicle traffic is prohibited. <laughs> get her, Pike. Get it. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Oh. Cypress Creek is a really great location because it is so close to Tampa and it's run by the Southwest Florida Water Management District. It's totally free. You make your reservations online. You can stay up to seven nights. There are fire pits, picnic tables. There's maybe like 15 spots total split between two different areas. So not overwhelming. It's always such a bummer to leave such a great campsite, especially when it's free. But we're heading to a boondockers welcome back down towards Tampa and I get to see my very best friend. I have not seen her in almost a year since her bachelorette party. I had left Mexico City to fly to Palm Springs last uh, end of February. That was the last time I saw her and she had to cancel her wedding twice. So I'm really excited to see her today. That might be one of our fastest times ever. What was that, like 60 seconds? It was really quick. Now we're just waiting for the break. Yep. Break's done. Oh. All right. Let's go. Hey. Ready? Yep. Hi. What are you doing, kid? We are like doing an ultimate perch of all kinds of stuff. I feel like every year we do one big like sweep to get everything that we haven't worn or haven't used in a year off board into our storage unit. So that's what we're doing right now. And this time I think we're going like extra hard in anticipation of Europe. So it's fun. Scout's helping. She's like, you need these many clothes. I wear one thing. Scout, you only have one outfit. <laughs> I know. You're just such a good baby. You're such a helper. We have an entire carload of stuff that we're taking to storage. Okay, Caitlin. Hey. Hey, stuff. Wow. Oh, look at our wedding pictures. Oh. oh. How does it feel to see all of our stuff? It's a little sentimental. I mean, we had really cool furniture, but we only lived in Miami for five months. So it's kind of weird to look at furniture that you bought for an apartment that we basically never lived in. And now it's all stored up. Um, but I like RVing too much. I'm good. What was it I just asked you? Oh, I'm not gonna repeat that. <laughs> I'll repeat it. I said to Howard, well, we could stop RVing if you miss all this furniture so much. At which point he said, you have no interest in that. And I said, you're right. That's right. Because we love RVing. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting for weeks to get our stickers and we ordered them and had them sent to our friend Catherine in Tampa. Uh, but obviously we weren't here yet. So this is our first time opening up our brand new stickers with our brand new logo. This is where I struggle with adhesive. Caitlin, are you ready? Yeah, I'm excited. There it is. Ooh, they're fun. That's fun. They're holographic. I like that. Ooh. I love it. What do you guys think? It's our new logo. Uh, so, New State Navigators, they get first crack. Every New State Navigator gets one of our new stickers. Holographic. <laughs> I mean, that's easily worth triple, right? <laughs> because they're holographs. Like you can communicate with your friends. So many uses, so many purposes. Oh man, here we go. Cool. Ta-da. Nice. <laughs> we don't know what these other stickers are because <laughs> the car came with it. It was free with purchase. So what are we doing, Howard? Well, Caitlin, we are at a pick your own citrus place that uh, our friends Catherine and Barry are really obsessed with. 
so this had better live up to expectations. It, we're here at the Dooley Groves, and I can't wait to pick my own citrus. Everything goes by weight. Whatever you and your family pick, you buy. $2.59 a pound. So we have uh, different uh, uh, size baskets here for you to pick from. Got our basket. We went with a smaller one. They got a bigger one. There's two different kinds of oranges that we can pick today. A pineapple orange and a, what is it called, Catherine? Honey bell? Honey bell. Honey bell oranges. I've had neither. I think the honey bells just like a this region of Florida thing. But yeah, they're we, very specific. We had never heard of them before and they're very good. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, we actually have a time-honored tradition of picking fruit with these folks. Um, this is now the second time, right? The last time was apples, and boy, that was something. Uh, a lot of physical activity involved, and then we got bored and took pictures. <laughs> we had a photo shoot. Yep. Lots of photos, great pictures. I'm having this little bell on top, sometimes if you pull it straight off the tree, it'll pop this part right out and it'll leave the top of the fruit exposed. It's gonna make the fruit go bad faster. When you use the clippers, you wanna come as close to the top of this fruit as you can. Uh, once you're done, you'll just return the clippers to me in a basket that's gonna be hanging right here, okay. so I can sanitize them. Uh, then if y'all wanna grab some pineapple oranges, it's gonna be the two rows right there with the chairs. Y'all just head right through there. Any row to the left is all good to go down. Awesome, awesome. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Put some oranges. So we've made it into the grove, and I guess we just look for good looking oranges. I don't know, is there a technique, guys? Yeah, what's an attractive orange? Let's see. Anything that's not green, basically. Like, see this one? That one's gross. It's not good. Oh, Barry's doing the first clip of the day. Oh boy. <laughs> first. Look at that technique. Oh, this this stem's got a little, a little gift to it. That's a nice one. Yeah. yeah, it's got one little spot, but the rest of it looks okay. It's also nice and squishy. How idyllic. <laughs> Job. Thank you. It's a real nice one. Little snip. What are we gonna do with these? I think we're gonna eat them. I mean, yours is okay. I mean, look at mine. Wow, look how perfect they are, Caitlin. Are you saying I don't pick good oranges? <laughs> this one's great. It's a great orange. He just needs a little scrub. Ugly oranges need love too. Deposit. Bye. Citrus police. You me? <laughs> How has your first citrus picking experience been? Well, when we travel with the citrus police, I mean, they <laughs> um. <laughs> they make it a lot harder, I think, because uh, they're looking for perfection. Am I the citrus police? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That would be you. I like to look for a nice round shape, uh, a nice deep orange color, and not too much squish, because you're not going to eat it right away. We only want the best. Yeah. Had some questionable decisions early on. Is this the pineapple one? The color is so interesting. And the inside looks yellow like a pineapple. Dang. Honey bell juice. Next week, after hearing from all of you about how much you loved our first visit to Jacksonville, we return to discover even more about the people, food, and activities that help make the largest city in America so special. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you get notifications when we post our newest episodes. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.